I don't know why it was different. It was, I have no idea. It's just this area that my parents chose to live in and her, their parents, my dad's parents and my mom's parents both lived in the neighborhood. Friends, we had a lot of good friends in the neighborhood. Our street was the Gathering Street. They, uh, Mill Street and St. Charles and College and all and McCoy, they would come on Nettleton and they would uh, play from sun up to sun down. And my grandmother's steps was the steps that everybody sat on and we played in the middle of the street in front of her, uh, her steps because it was the light was there, the street light was there. Okay. And we did everything until the whistle blew. When the whistle blew, everybody scattered like ants, zoom. Had to be in the house before uh, the whistle stopped or you was in trouble. Uh, one is uh, Alversia Pettigrew. Uh, she, is, uh, she was my uh, daughter's godmother, and she lived two doors up from us on Nettleton Street. It was uh, our house, uh, Ernest Taylor's house, my grandma and nanny house, and, and uh, her house. That's the, it was the two houses in between our houses, and we played together, and we and we go to church together, and we still go to church together. She belongs to this church here. My dad had a car, but uh, uh, when we wanted to go somewhere, we walked most of the time. We walked from our house to Young School. It's the only black school that we attended. Snow, rain, sleet, whatever, we walked. They gave us an old raggedy bus when it was uh, time to uh, almost to uh, graduate, I mean, go to high school, and uh, the people, we had to stand in front of her house to go to, to catch the bus, and she got very upset because she didn't want these black kids standing in front of her house to catch the bus. We wasn't doing anything but standing there ready to catch the bus, but she didn't like that. What I, I really enjoyed living there is because it was one big family. When one didn't have anything, nobody had anything. When they had plenty, everybody, they shared and shared alike. If they went fishing and got a big thing of fish, everybody had some fish. Uh, we come together and, and play time. We would get out in the street, young and old, and play ball and skate. And did they did it. My dad, he was an old man. Well, he wasn't an old man, but we thought he was an old man. And he could skate, you know, just like we did. Uh, and so he, they, we played together and you know, it was just one family. <laughs>